V squared here, the real V sauce, aka many things to follow. So this message is coming to you, provided live. From the road. Doing work here. They say never have any blank space in radio. This isn't radio. Sometimes blank spaces are meant for dramatic effect. Adds production value. Adds meaning to words. It's the same thought as why light needs dark and dark needs needs light. Have you ever stared into the sun before? Doesn't make much sense, does it? So I'm pleased to see here on Halloween this evening, lots and lots and lots of trick-or-treaters out. When I brought my nieces out trick-or-treating after the AM shift today, we didn't have many trick-or-treaters. It's unfortunate. In my hood, we don't get much trick-or-treaters. But we still put in the old college try, as they say. Look it up, it's real simple. Uh, probably on Urban Dictionary somewhere, who knows. But I have my costume on. Woo! This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween. How about that for some production value? <laughs> Still need more resources for more production value. Smash that like button. Let's build a community here. So we're just going to drop some knowledge bombs this evening. Within the spirit of Halloween. Like I said, I appeal to all the crowds. All the crowds, all the crowds. Ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to take it from the bottom to the top. Right down to, you know, what you should know. It, I don't know, someone's around four or five years old, maybe sooner if you can get it into their heads. All the way up to OG Grandma and Gramps, kicking it in the rocking chairs. Doing dances like the stank leg, something like that. These are real things too, ladies and gentlemen, so do not discount words. If you don't know what it is, Push the pause button, smash that like button, maybe leave a comment while you click over here on another tab and look up the word or the phrase. So anyways, goal number one in Halloweening that you should know from a long, long time ago is always source your candy out from reliable sources. Okay, what does that mean? Risk management. It's real simple, ladies and gents. If there's some weird person that never talks to you all the time and gives you the stank eye every time you pass by as a neighbor, oh, there's something to be said about that person. Likelihood of them actually handing out candy, slim to none. But in the event that they do, you could always just be polite and put it in a sub bag that you sort out to the round file. Ding! That's the sound of your candy hitting the trash can if you don't know what I'm talking about. Sort it out to the round file at the end of the night. Then, there's always candy due diligence. Your parents know what I'm talking about out there. Kids, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about for dick. Candy due diligence is something that I like to call being an inspector or quality control, if you will. Something we used to do a lot in the produce department. We'd go get the produce, and then we'd cut it up, and then we would have to sample it for quality. It's just good quality assurance purposes. So, candy due diligence. All right. Where are we at? About five minutes? Well, 
let's see here. I could cut a real long reel and then go in, grab the food, and keep going. Or, sorry, I'm getting real close and personal here tonight. <laughs> like my costume, by the way. Everybody loves the, the night before Christmas, nightmare before Christmas. Come on, I can cut it and do a part one, part two, or I could just leave it on there and cut the whole thing. Due diligence, risk management. Let's just get it up there. We'll still call it part one. 